Hello chatbox out there. Today in this vlog I'm going to be telling you guys all about what I got up to on my weekend. I hope you guys have all had a lovely weekend. On my Saturday I got up, I got showered and changed and had some porridge for my breakfast and me and my mum were just watched a bit of TV. My dad was sorting stuff around the house, he then went off for a nap and my older brother and sister were at a rugby game. The younger brother had gone to get his hair cut, he got back and then him and his mates went off to play golf and my younger sister was at hers. My mum and myself then went off to go get my grandma and drop her up the high street as she had some shopping she needed to do and we went to get in the car and the car cut out, a light had been left on or something so it just wouldn't turn on so my dad had to jump start the car and we had to go get my grandma and just not stop the car for fear of it just cutting out again. So we got my grandma, got her up the high street without stopping the car and then my mum pulled up, dropped us off and then went and just waited around the side and my grandma went and got her shopping. I then went off and did my own thing and my grandma then got back with my mum and my mum dropped her back while I went off on one of the child shops and then went off into my workplace. Cat came away from the place. I've been working so much at the moment and I've been serving lots of these Sundays for the desserts, which are a fudge and honeycomb Sunday Supreme, which are literally ginormous and I've been craving one for ages now. So I got one and I am so happy that I finally got one because I have been craving them and they are so good. I'm going to show you guys a photo of that now. Absolutely loved it. It was amazing. I was in ice cream heaven and then I paid for that. I then went and had a look at the market and I got some flower snaps from the garden centre and I'm going to show you guys those now. Absolutely love the garden centre, love the flower snaps. The flowers are so lovely and I got some really nice flower snaps in there which I was very happy about. I then went and had another look around the market and I ended up getting some fresh made donuts which are so good but very bad for you and I'm trying to cut down on sugar and I am absolutely failing epically. It's going to be hard because I love cake and the main thing is to try not to drink too many sugary things sugary food aren't as bad but i should probably try and get sugar out of my diet completely and my mum was like if you keep all in all these sugary things you're gonna be diabetic like my mum and dad are already and my granddad was all as well so it's kind of a good thing that the dentist has told me not to drink and eat too many sugary things so i'm trying to cut down and i'm doing well i'm not drinking any fizzy drinks now i only drink flavored water and i make sure that it's not fizzy water as well because fizzy water isn't good as well but yeah it's gonna it's not gonna be easy i've been so used to drinking cola and stuff and and eating sugary things it's gonna be a bit of a try to try and like get my brain to be like nope don't eat and a little bit won't hurt you but it's just eating loads of it will be not good so yeah i then got back home and i had one of the donuts and i'm going to show you guys those now After the day, I'm not going to be eating lots of sugar things. A little bit, but I'm going to try and like cut quite a lot of it out of my diet. Let's see how it goes. Fingers crossed. Don't want to be losing all my teeth. And I definitely don't want to be diabetic. So I'm going to try and cut that out as best I can. I've been brushing my teeth day and night three times a day at the moment. I've got a mouthwash. So I'm really stamping down on this. My teeth aren't the best, but it's just at the, the, like the back. Well, I'm having teeth out and I've got to have a um, wisdom tooth taken out here and a few things. 
but it's just at the far back where I, I struggle to reach and quite a few people I've talked to have also struggled with this so it's not like I've not brushed my teeth or I've neglected them it's just where I haven't been able to reach them I've been trying to get it to the back and so I've now been told to like when get in the back put the brush in and then shut shut your like shut your lips like close your, close your mouth shut and like get in that way so I'm going to be doing that from now on but yeah just to paint the backside and yeah gonna be doing that so it's definitely been they're definitely looking a lot better and my old sister was like let me see and I wanted to see my teeth and she was like yeah they're looking very very good which is good and then I was just listening to a bit of music reading a bit of the Marple Society I'm determined to get this book finished I'm such a slow reader and then I went off to one stop and got myself some lemon and lime water not fizzy no sugar to drink while I had work because I was supposed to have Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday off and then be working Wednesday evening but one of my colleagues unfortunately has food poisoning so in the whatsapp group my manager was like can anyone cover and I was like I'll do it thinking that one of my other colleagues was going to be doing it but I said I'll do it just in case and then he couldn't do it so my manager was like oh yeah Dan that would be perfect so I was like damn it could have had an evening off so I ended up doing 5.54 I got there and did 5.54 till 10.30 because I was supposed to start at 6 but my dad dropped me there early because he had to go off to the shops and of course the car wasn't working at all and we thought it was better and then as I got to Tesco's the car car again so I think we've not we're not using that car and I think my dad's gonna get our car person that does the MOTs on our cars to come have a look at it who just lives on the corner whose father whose son actually used to work where I work I talk to quite a lot and yeah so he's probably going to come have a look and see what we can do with the car because I think something's causing it to cut out which is very annoying and then I got to work got clocked in and was just doing the usual really just serving food serving drinks cleaning tables cleaning chairs doing food and drink orders and bill taking and yeah it went really well I saw two girls that I went to secondary school with and I hadn't seen them since leaving secondary school which was like five maybe six years ago I think it actually might be seven Jesus Christ that's a long time ago now and yeah I was just saying about what I've been up to and they were saying what they'd been up to and yeah it was really nice chatting with them and getting to catch up and see what they've been doing I think it'd be awesome if we could do like a secondary school reunion kind of thing but they don't really do those in UK I think it's more like over in America that they do like reunions but it'd be quite good to do like a, a reunion to see where everyone is and what they're doing and yeah maybe in a few years time we might do that it'd be quite cool but now it's all on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram so we don't really need to do stuff like that anymore but it'd be nice and then I just had my my lemon and lime waters I got two bottles and by the end of the night they were both gone because I was actually marching because I've been wearing my mask at the moment which I'm going to probably carry on doing it's mandatory now so quite a lot of my colleagues don't wear them but while I've had my cousins over from Ireland my uncle and auntie one of my cousins was born prematurely so she's quite vulnerable and she she's gets quite she when she gets oh she gets quite poorly with these little like bugs and stuff and colds so I didn't want to be giving them COVID or anything done lots of tests so I'm negative but I still didn't want to risk it and even after they're gone I think I'm still going to be wearing them because I just want to keep myself safe and I got track and trace a few weeks back that kind of freaked me out a bit it said but you didn't have to isolate but it's still I was like it could have been I could have had to isolate and I didn't really want to be having that happen and especially with my grandparents who are quite vulnerable and as well as my parents as well with their diabetes so I think I'm just going to carry on wearing my mask and then I finished about 10 30 I got clocked out my dad picked me up got back and for my tea I had some scrambled egg and it was so good I put my clothes in the wash got my pea juice and had my scrambled egg with a cup of tea and I'm going to show you guys a photo of that scrambled egg now scrambled egg was so good after that I then went off to bed I was so tired that I completely forgot to finish writing my journal entry for the day or even watching the casualty 35th special anniversary episode so I went off to bed and then on my Sunday 
which is today. I got up and wished my cousin a happy birthday. He was 14 today, which is nuts. I still remember holding her when she was a baby. Can't believe how fast she's growing up. Put an embarrassing photo of her up on Instagram, tagging her and wishing her happy birthday. Gotta be done. And then I watched the Cash episode, first one of my journal from yesterday night. Then I had a shower, got changed, had some toast in the cupboard for my breakfast, listened to a bit of music, did some drawing and colouring in, read a bit of the Rebel Society, and my mum and myself were just watching a bit of TV. My dad was sorting stuff around the house. Younger brother was on his Xbox. His girlfriend then came over, and for my lunch, I had some cucumber sandwiches and a cup of tea. And my older brother got off to the shops. He got back and was done making my cousin's 14th birthday cake, and it smelled so good. Old sister was at hers, young sister at hers, and I was just chatting to my young sister on Facebook, having a good catch with her, missing her a lot, hopefully going to be seeing her soon. And then I was watching the Kissing Booth third film, the last one of the series, I think, and yeah, it's pretty good. And then my mum and my dad and older brother went off down to my grandpa's house where we were having a party for my cousin's 14th birthday, and I walked down and on the way there I got some fast snacks that I'm going to show you guys now. I also, while on the way there, bumped into my best mate who I haven't spoken to or seen in ages because we've just been really busy. And we're that type of friendship now where we could go ages without talking, but then when we see each other, it's like we've never been apart, which I really love. So we just have a really good catch up and we're going to be planning to have a catch up soon at the pub, which is definitely needed because I definitely need a drink after working so many shifts at the moment, absolutely knackered off on holiday in September in a caravan in Minehead with my grandparents and mum and dad which I think I've mentioned before in my previous vlogs but I'm just so bloody excited for this holiday I love Minehead anyway and I just, just cannot wait I love a good caravan holiday and it's gonna be so good because we've got a Rwanda it's got a nice beach view from the caravan so I'm just gonna sit out with my book maybe do a bit of drawing and just enjoy hopefully fingers crossed the sunshine should be out and hopefully it's not raining all week, but we've got to keep fingers crossed and hopefully the weather gods are good to us. And then I got to my grandparents' house, gave my cousin her birthday card and a good birthday hug and I was like, happy birthday, how are you doing? How, what did you get? And she was telling me what she got for her birthday and they went to Wiki Hole and had a really good time there, which was really nice to hear. And then my younger brother and his girlfriend then showed up and we had a party tea which is really good and I'm going to show you guys a photo of that spread now. Mm, my grandma does such a good party spread, absolutely loved it, ate way too much, definitely regretting that now. And then my older sister and our family friend JJ came he popped down for the day which is a nice surprise we didn't actually know that he was turning up until he actually came so of course I had a nice catch with him and had a few cups of tea i'm trying not to drink as i said too many fizzy drinks so i just had a cup of tea and a bit of flavored water and other than that no fizzy drinks and i did have a little bit of trifle and a bit of jelly but other than that not trying to eat too many sugary things either and then we just sat around chatting and having lots of fun lots of laughter playing in the garden and then we played a bit of charade which is always very fun and I kept on forgetting how many words the film I was trying to do was because I was getting pretty tired and I think we were all getting a bit tired towards the end so it was very funny and then it was time for me, my mum, dad and older brother to head off home so we gave my uncle, my aunt and my cousins big hugs as they are going home tomorrow back off to Ireland so I'm not sure when I'm going to get to see them next. So give them a nice big hug each, said goodbye, said have a nice safe journey back home. And then we came back and we got a bit of leftover food from the party tea that was leftover. As my family are like Lotus, we're always going to eat 
what well, that's ever left and it probably won't last long got back i'm now home and my younger sister facetimed my mum so we we're just having a chat with her and my younger brother and his girlfriend are now back home and they're getting ready to watch new love island which i'm going to be watching later on as well love love island so much and then my old brother just went onto his xbox and my mum and dad are just watching a bit of tv and i am now off to finish watching the new episode of casual that i think i i have a little bit left to watch and then watching the rest of the kissing booth free and then going to be watching new love island fish right in my journal probably have a bit of cereal and then just going to be chilling for the rest of the evening i hope you guys have all had a great weekend all have a lovely week ahead and i shall see you when you vlog very very soon bye i've just forgotten to mention about the cake and show you the cake i think i said about how my brother made the cake he made a pole dark cake for the film the show starring aiden turner and, and made a chocolate cake which was so amazing frosted icing as well and it just tasted oh, amazing he's getting so good we keep on saying we're gonna enter him to bake off i think he'd ace it and so it was really good and it had a um like I actually took a photo of Aiden Turner, so I got to eat a bit of Aiden Turner, and yeah, it's such a great cake, and I'm going to show you guys that now.